Uh, let's stay with news from KZN. I'm afraid this is not good news. Once again, trucks are blockading the N3 highway. This news just in a couple of minutes ago. Both directions at Van Rienens Pass are completely blocked. So what has actually happened? N3 toll concessions. Uh, Tanya Dugra awake uh, as early as the rest of us this morning. Hello to you, Tanya. It's always good to speak to you. However, it never seems to be good news when it comes to Van Rienens Pass. What's actually happening? What can you tell us? Good morning, Gareth, and good morning to all your viewers on this youth day. Um, unfortunately, the news, as you say, is not good. Van Rienen Pass is currently closed to traffic with trucks blocking both directions of the road. Um, and we are obviously advising that all road users please delay travel to the area so that they don't contribute any more to that backlog. It is quite a significant backlog at the moment. Um, but all we know at this stage is that law enforcement is on scene and they are attending to the necessary to try and get it resolved and reopened as quickly as possible. So who's on the scene at the moment? Who handles a situation like this? Who gets involved? Who tries to move trucks? That's the South African Police Services from a law enforcement perspective. And then you also would have the Provincial Tra Road Traffic Inspectorate and they will be assisting to close the road, um, particularly trying to discourage and prevent road users from getting any further up on Rhenan and then contributing to that backlog. Yeah. So again, you know, like I said, just appealing to road users. I know it's the long weekend and this is very inconvenient, but please stay away from that area. Yeah, one uh, would suggest if you're highly critical, this was planned, especially around mm. the long weekend. Uh, I know that obviously you represent the N3, Tanya, I understand that. Is, an, uh, is there an alternative route? Obviously, we don't want people now adding to the congestion. Is there another way they can go for either going to Durban or coming back from Durban? There are several alternative routes around there, but I would recommend that they please check those routes carefully, you know, on whichever mapping software they're using or, or GPS software they're using. You know, for example, there are limitations on only Ferris Hook Pass where heavy motor vehicles are not allowed on the pass. So, you know, they, they would have to carefully plan accordingly. And what are cars currently doing, not the trucks, the car side, the passenger vehicles? What are they doing at the moment now that they're stuck there? Are they turning around? For the most part, yes, and they are being turned around even before they get there and prevented from going further. But obviously this started fairly early this morning, and so there have been some vehicles caught in that backlog, but they have been turning around. I understand you're talking on behalf of the concession. You wouldn't know what the protest is all about, would you? Unfortunately, not nothing that's been communicated to us mm. as yet. Yeah, I know, of course not. Uh, we need to try and make sure we get Van Rienen's pass open as quickly as possible. Uh, Tanya, Absolutely. always good uh, to speak to you. I appreciate it. There's uh, not much information coming out, but N3 uh, at Van Rienen's pass blocked both ways at the moment. Trucks are busy blocking the N3 uh, highway at the moment at Van Rienen's pass uh, as well. And, and do yourself a favor, as Tanya says, if you're using a GPS, whatever system you use, perhaps try and program it. If you're going uh, near Van Rienen's Pass to rather uh, try and find an alternative route or as Tanya says rather delay it but right now there's no uh, idea as to when uh, that uh, Van Rienen's Pass is going to reopen